Lizard experts are warning that the numbers of reptiles in the UK are falling as habitats have been degraded and destroyed. To encourage the public to take part in conservation, a training day is being held at Cambridge's Orchard Park. Holly Goodall reports. They might be commonplace at the zoo, but many people would be surprised to find lizards in their own backyard. A thriving population of common lizards have made their home here at Orchard Park in Cambridge. The scrubland set aside from the housing development has proved to be a haven for wildlife, including over 70 species of invertebrates. Well, when you speak to people about lizards, a lot of them are quite gobsmacked. They don't believe that lizards are here. I expect that's because they're expecting uh, or imagining that they would have like three foot iguanas or, or something like that. But in reality, our common species, uh, the one here, the common lizard, only grows to six inches in length. And so it's a lot smaller than you'd imagine. And this is probably why it's gone unnoticed because people just don't see them. The lizards are so small and well camouflaged, they could easily be missed. Experts from Cambridge and Peterborough Amphibian and Reptile Group have organised a training day for local people, not only to learn how to identify the lizards, but monitor population numbers. So the event on Saturday is aimed to help train local people on how to monitor reptiles, especially the lizards here at Orchard Park, so we can get a better understanding of how big the population is, uh, how the dynamics are being driven, and how successfully the lizards are breeding. The local people can make a huge difference to local conservation. Uh, every pair of eyes and every pair of hands counts towards the greater good. And just an extra pair of eyes when it comes to looking for lizards can help miss the lizard hiding in a tuft of grass or in some undergrowth that even the most seasoned of surveyors could miss. This population of lizards are lucky enough to have found a suitable habitat. Common lizards are the most widespread reptile in the UK, but their numbers are declining rapidly as their homes are degraded, fragmented and destroyed altogether. But experts believe that more awareness could encourage people to take extra precautions to protect the lizard's habitat. I, I've, I've been here several times with Stephen. Uh, I've brought um, other friends, um, kids here as well. I've got my friend's son last year, he managed to catch his first lizard. It was a great experience and, and he's going to be coming out sort of more often uh, and, and multiple times this year as our other children are as well. So it's, it's about getting people involved, getting the kids involved so that when they are walking around a place like this, they, they actually start to you know, you know, take on board what, what they're seeing. As, as long as people know that they're here, then other things can start to happen. You know, maybe less mattresses and sort of debris being dropped. Uh, a little bit more community work for uh, cutting some of the scrub to make it a little bit more accessible for when the surveys take place or, or for when people are just generally walking. Um, you know, just a normal, you know, somebody who's walking a dog comes down here, sees one lizard, that, that's a vital piece of information, even more so if they can tell you whether it's a, a male or a female or a juvenile, but it's, it's still useful information. A lot of people will see stuff and do nothing else with it. Whereas, you know, there's, there's people like Steve and myself that can be contacted and then we'll make sure that that, that record gets onto the record database and further establishes this, this area as a, a, you know, a place to be um, conserved and, and looked after and managed. The training session takes place at one o'clock on Saturday at the Orchard Park Community Centre. And anyone over the age of eight is encouraged to come along to learn about this little known lizard. Holly Goodall, Cambridge TV News.